The revolutionary V-247 Vigilant unmanned aerial vehicle was first conceptualized in 2016, but it wasn't until 2023 that its full potential was truly realized. Right from the onset, Bell Helicopter embarked on a mission to design a tilt rotor drone that could take on all the tasks of conventional aircraft, and then some. But as development progressed and the concept showed promising prospects of reaching new heights, the company's vision grew bolder. Initially intended for use by the U.S. Marine Corps, the V-247 Vigilant soon proved itself capable of much more, including the development of a version compatible with the Navy's Arleigh Burke-class destroyers. As such, the aviation powerhouse pledged to release a more compact version that retains the same impressive power and capabilities as the original model, and its unveiling is expected imminently. Around the Clock Bell created the V-247 in response to the growing need of the U.S. military for a specialized unmanned aerial vehicle. This new aircraft can provide continuous support to ground forces while being easier to store and transport. Depending on altitude, range, and weight, the new Bell drone belongs to either Group 4 or 5 UAVs. Group 4 can weigh up to 1,320 pounds and fly below 18,000 feet, while Group 5 boasts the same weight limitations but can fly higher. Bell named the V-247 after its capability to provide 24-7 ISR, or Intelligence Surveillance and Reconnaissance Support, to a designated area with a two-aircraft team. On September 22, 2016, Bell unveiled a 1 scale model, and even though the company is funding the V-247 through its preliminary design phase, it is searching for a customer, likely the U.S. Marine Corps, to sponsor the subsequent design efforts and integrate specific requirements into the design. The V-247's impressive capabilities stem from the incorporation of tilt rotors into its design, which allow the aircraft to take off vertically and transition smoothly to high-speed forward flight. This unique advantage is something beyond the reach of conventional rotorcraft or fixed-wing aircraft. Yet, the drone did not emerge from a vacuum. Bell leveraged technologies they had previously used for the V-22 Osprey and V-280 Valor for the future vertical lift program, as well as the HV-911 Eagle Eye, another unmanned tilt rotor that they discontinued in 2008. The V-247 is versatile, capable of undertaking a range of missions from electronic warfare to persistent fire support, from airborne early warning to resupply missions. Initially, the V-247 was created as a contender for the Marine Air Ground Task Force Unmanned Aerial System Experimental, or MUX, program. The program aimed to provide the Marine Expeditionary Unit with its own unmanned aircraft to conduct various operations such as aerial reconnaissance, electronic warfare, offensive air support, and cargo utility. However, the program encountered budgetary constraints from Congress in 2020. Strength to Strength The V-247 Vigilant is an aircraft designed for substantial load-bearing tasks. Its empty weight is 16,000 pounds, but it can carry up to 13,000 pounds of fuel, weapons, and sensors, bringing its total weight to a whopping 29,000 pounds. That's three times the maximum takeoff weight of the MQ-9, a drone that's no slouch itself. But what really sets the Vigilant apart is its sheer power. While the V-22 and V-280 have two engines housed in their tilt rotor pylons, the Vigilant features only one engine, located in the fuselage. This engine generates well over 5,000 shaft horsepower. With a wingspan of 65 feet and tilting rotors possessing a diameter of 30 feet, it sports a V-shaped tail and a single elongated wing piece connected to the top of the fuselage. Additionally, it has retractable tricycle landing gear. The Vigilant, both strong and compact, is also swift and agile. Its cruise speed is 290 miles per hour, with a top speed of 350 miles per hour. It has a service ceiling of 25,000 feet and a combat radius of 520 miles, with a time on station of 11 to 15 hours while carrying a 600-pound payload. Furthermore, it can fly up to 1,600 miles for 17 hours on internal fuel, and it also has mid-air refueling capability. The Vigilant comes equipped with three internal payload bays, 
a centerline payload, and the capability to carry up to two underwing pylons per side for various payloads, including additional fuel, radar systems, LIDAR modules, sonar buoys, the Mark 50 torpedo, AGM-114 Hellfire, and joint air-to-ground missiles. With a maximum sling load of 9,000 pounds, the Vigilant emerges as a versatile and formidable aircraft. If everything proceeds as planned, the V-247 could be production-ready by 2023. Glidepath In 2022, Bell brought back the V-247 Vigilant and modified it to fit on Navy ships as a surveillance and strike aircraft. One of the critical elements of the V-247's design was making sure it could fit inside the hangar of an early Burke-class destroyer to deploy on any of the Navy's helicopter-capable vessels. To make the Vigilant suitable for the guided missile destroyers, its wings and rotors rotate along the 37-foot fuselage, aligning with the footprint of the UH-1Y Venom helicopter. This design allows two compacted Vigilants to fit within a single C-17 Globemaster III transport aircraft. According to the manufacturer, the drone is autonomous and can perform the same task as a manned helicopter, including fitting into the same space as an MH-60R. The aircraft was designed to meet the Navy's future vertical lift maritime strike development effort, requiring Bell to make several modifications to the original design. The weight of the drone was reduced to around 28,000 pounds to meet Navy requirements, and the fuselage was shrunk by removing excess fuel capacity. However, as clarified by Todd Wharton, Bell's senior manager for Advanced Vertical Lift Systems Sales and Strategy, quote, It's important to note that the aircraft itself, the wing structure, the nacelles, the blades, and things like that, were resized, but the wingspan really didn't change. To optimize the endurance of the aircraft, to get the most endurance out of it that we could, we wanted to maintain the length of the wing. We want to get as much glide as we can. The Navy is still considering options for its maritime strike systems under an analysis of alternatives, which will eventually solidify the service's requirements for replacing both the MH-60R and the MQ-8C Fire Scout. The V-247 will be armed with several armament options mounted on the cheeks of the fuselage, stowed in an internal weapons bay, or hung from the wings on pylons. The redesigned internal mission payload is 2,000 pounds, and it has a 9,000 pound sling load capacity. Remarkably, the redesigned drone might be better than the original. As Warden put it, quote, If anything, because the fuselage is slendered down quite a bit, actually the performance is up, probably because our drag is down. Shapeshifter A full-scale mock-up was displayed at several trade shows, equipped with various configurations of underwing weapons mounting, including Hellfire missiles and Textron Fury glide bombs. More recent images display the aircraft carrying cheek-mounted joint strike missiles, developed as standoff anti-ship and land-attack cruise missiles, giving the V-247 an incredible over-the-horizon combat punch. While waiting on the Navy to finish its analysis of alternatives, Bell continues to invest in designing and manufacturing advanced tilt-rotor capabilities. According to Carl Forsling, Bell's senior manager of advanced military programs, sales, and strategy, the V-247's autonomous flight controls partially solve the challenges of arming tilt rotors with forward-firing munitions. With advancements in aircraft and weapons technology, off-axis missile firing is possible, eliminating the need for a tilt rotor to transition out of airplane mode to fire wing-mounted munitions. Autonomous flight capabilities also allow the V-247 to more efficiently transition from forward flight to a partial hover, minimizing its vulnerability to enemy air defenses. It's no surprise, then, that the U.S. Army has also expressed interest in runway-independent unmanned aircraft. There's potential for the V-247 to be integrated into manned-unmanned teaming arrangements, wherein helicopter pilots can control nearby drones from their cockpit using a tactical common data link. Thank you for watching our video. We're thrilled that you tuned in to our military content, and we have plenty more fascinating stories from recent history on our Dark Documentaries channels. Be sure to hit that like button and hit subscribe to be the first to know about our upcoming releases. Stay tuned.